Hi Scorpio, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, I'm just full with laughter because I'm sitting here at a kid's table uh, on a kid's chair, probably from Ikea, I think. I'm sort of house sitting for my sister and um, a woman's gonna do what a woman's gonna do in order to get these uh, videos out. So this just feels like it couldn't be more in my face and um, I don't know, I regret changing the camera now because Ah, I'm gonna stop uh, apologizing and then maybe just want to, you guys to feel a bit sorry for me. That's all. Um, yeah, welcome, uh, Scorpio, which is Scorpion in Swedish, like it needed to look. Uh, I'm Swedish and therefore I will go a bit back and forth with the Swedish words to clarify some English words where I feel like it might need some clarification. I'll just jump straight into it and see what you will draw out through me what you most need to hear for this week. I also want to say like, feel free to, to like explore around all the uh, signs and all the, um, like what they're called and see if there's like one title that stands out to you. Cause then it might be something in there for you. It doesn't matter how old it is or like, just like a movie. It doesn't matter if the movie was made this week and you, if you didn't catch it, you wouldn't say, hmm, can't watch it next week because it was so last week. <laughs> it still can have like some relevance to you and, can, and it still can be really, really good. And also it's all about timing. So whenever you feel like going in there or if you feel like you need to, uh, you have a question or you want answers or something like that, just go in and see if you can find something. Maybe the answer is right there. So, Scorpio, what's up with you this week? Hopefully the sound is fine. I listened back to another recording and uh, I, th I thought I heard like a sound coming through, a, a bit of a, due to the, due to the uh, computer. Wow. Goodness. this card first can you please well it's a lady and she's dancing and she's in a golden skirt and the card says originality blaze your own trail and sometimes I am like invited to look at the text and sometimes even if I see it I feel like it doesn't it doesn't resonate with me but for sure, 100% this does re um, resonate with me. And I don't feel like, I was just about to say, I don't feel like it's about relationships, but let's see where, let's see where that goes. Um, I wanna start with saying heaven on earth, heaven on earth, just the expression heaven on earth. I don't really know why just yet, why I wanna say that. There's so much water around you. You're walking in and on water um water plays just a like my son is scorpio and i'd say that the moon and water is his main elements like he couldn't he couldn't drink more water if he tried uh he, that body is built on water uh he doesn't drink any soda any milk and nothing he's always wanted just water and he's like 19 this like he's 19 this year um, and I feel the same for you and it's sort of, I know I'm, I'm, I'm taking like every Scorpio and just saying every Scorpio is like this, but I feel in the, in this case, in your case, this is true. You are a child of the moon. You are a child of the water. And, and if you shower every day, if you take a swim every day, if you, um, if you're meant to like have your job, if not in the water, then at least near the water, because it feels like you're so dependent on it. And I'm careful using the word dependent because really you were put on this earth and, and you will be fine, uh, whether you're in the water or not. But like uh, my son, he sort of almost gets a bit cranky when he hasn't had enough water. And I mean, obviously all people like, the fastest thing you die is leave out water and see what happens but for you guys it's more like uh 
So I'm a Leo and, and the Leo element is sun. And for me, it's like the opposite. When I have so much sun, like yeah, I, I'm more of a shade person because I am a sign, <laughs> sun sign. Um, it's like I don't have to be in the sun because it's so much of me is the sun. And the Scorpio is like the exact opposite. Like the more drought there is to you, the more desert, the more um, that you haven't drank any water, the worse you're going to feel. And, and also the moon cycles with the moon sort of uh, having the water come in and having the water, I don't know what that's called in, in uh, ebb and flow, ebb and flow. Um, and, and it's sort of the moon sort of, the magnetism of the moon determines the ebb and flow of the water. And so it sort of, it's like a, you can be without the ebb and flow in your life. You can be without the magnetism of the moon. You can control your own energy and how you're going to focus that energy and spend that energy. But when you're in tune with the moon, when you sort of decide that, no, I'm actually going to focus on the moon and I'm going to, be one with the moon then you can sort of start to feel a, an ebb and a flow to you like to your life and when you start to learn these cycles and really keep track of if it's new moon full moon half moon a quarter of a moon um and if it's ebb and flow in the oceans if you keep track of it you can sort of uh, almost see that if you try to push for something and it sort of it doesn't want to work or it doesn't come to fruition or it's it's just oh, however hard you're trying it just doesn't work pretty sure it's ebb by that time it's it's, it's or drought like uh, look at what the moon is up to and then it's like oh i'm just going to wait till it's flow ebb and flow how easy is that just see if that works for you i think there's a lot of in it for you and also the water. If you don't drink a lot of water, water, you need to swim or bathe or shower or just breathe in the water. And if you're for some, if you for some reason can't be near to the water, just go meditate like 15 minutes or 20 minutes a day, thinking that you're in the water. Just just imagining like the the cells of your body doesn't know literally doesn't know whether it, you're in the water for real. Or if you're in the water in in your head so as best you can play out that you're do, taking a swim in the ocean or that you're d like diving but then without the all the gear on just just the skin um next to the water and just feel it and oh, i'm gonna pick up the speed here because it's another awesome card here um and i, I just feel like that is su of such importance right now there's something to it extra extra much right now that you need to be close to the water or you're thinking about the water in some way or for some for some reason the passion for you right now is water and look out for that look if the universe is trying to tell you something about the water if whatever and when you f when you follow this ebb and flow thing and when you follow the uh, moon cycles everything you touch will turn to gold everything you think about will manifest at a speed that you haven't seen before everything that you are thinking planning starting wanting to happen when you move with the moon cycles you are you're turning your life into gold literally and and it's so important for the originality that's like you your own and you <laughs> it's like whatever you're up to whatever you want to do whatever whatever's coming up for you right now like look no further look for no other that has done the same thing or don't look for inspiration from another look within go into meditation and find your own answer because i feel like whatever you're taking on right now or whatever path you're on right now it's going to be a path that you're walking that you're first in line like the leading edge 
you're first in line and therefore nobody else has sort of walked that path before you and so when you when you try to find inspiration or find information uh, from the outside source and nothing is there to be found doesn't mean that it's the wrong path it just means you're you're the first one so orig originality and blaze your own trail that just stands out that's so true for you right now and leading up when you went like i said when you listen everything that you turn everything that you touch turns into gold and i i think i've gotten this card for you before uh but i mainly have focused on yeah i said something about a crown on your head like it was a castle with a crown on your head and there's the owl and there's the wolf and a large moon this time i'm particularly drawn to the text and it says money find a way to abundance and that comes hand in hand i know i know you had this card for sure um sorry the window is a bit bright there so it might not focus in the way that i want to um anyway if you put these next to each other like the the girl with the golden skirt can also be a man with a golden skirt uh When you, when you keep true to yourself and your originality and you really start to just walk your talk, walk your path, do whatever feels true and right to you and sort of leave the rest and follow whatever inspiration, whatever the intuition, the, the signs, the little nudges that you get follow them i don't care if you're in the middle of something if you if you get a nudge about something just drop what you do do and 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 just go and follow that nudge and it will lead to money and for some reason money comes up so maybe you're a bit short of money maybe uh like if you can pay your bills if if you're fine like for rent and stuff it it still feels like Whatever you want to take on right now, like in a bigger change or transformation way, like going on a vacation, going on a trip, uh, wanting to start a new project, wanting to launch something, wanting to uh, create some like a class for people or um, like starting your like a new hobby that is just really dear to your heart. It feels like you want money for it. And so just keep doing you and the money will just start to flow. Go with the ebb, go with the flow and see where the moon cycles are at the very moment that you try to do something. Follow the impulses, follow the nudge. And I, you should never promise, but you, you will walk right into money and good, good money. Like if you feel a nudge to play the lottery, if you feel, if you feel a, if you get a, hunch that you should go to a coffee place you might meet somebody there that will like lead to um so to whatever whatever don't don't rule anything out the the amount of ways that you have potential to see that the universe could deliver money to you is is as many ways that the universe can deliver money to you so you're your like you are your own block if that makes sense um you're also your own flow your own openness your own inspiration your own originality place your own trail right into money i'm gonna leave you guys with that it wasn't a relationship but i'm feeling that there's something is something is up something is in the wings for you guys uh i hope that helps go swim go shower go drink a glass of water um maybe next week there will be some extended versions here it might <laughs> uh have a beautiful week take care scorpio bye